One reason the Adam Smith Institute put housing at the top of our agenda for the year is that we think it actually is the cause of many, if not most, of Britain's current problems. Look, we face a mismatch of supply and demand. Demand is increasing for a variety of reasons. First of all, our people are living longer. That means they're occupying housing for a greater number of years. Secondly, more of them for reasons of their own are choosing to live singly. We've got demand from immigration. Everywhere, more people are demanding housing every year. And then we've got supply, which is being limited. Now, the problem is that most of the limits are caused by government policy. It's not what government has failed to do, it's what government has done that's caused the problem. First and foremost among the culprits is the Town and Country Planning Act, which basically stops people building houses where people want them, at the edges of the cities, near tube stations, near train stations. We won't allow people to build because we've got some ludicrous notion that the 9% of Britain that is built up with housing is too much and ought to be kept at that level or reduced. Wrong. Secondly, we demand of people building that they allocate some property for social housing below cost, that they do planning gain, that they insist on people building communal youth centres and swimming, all of which raises the cost and deters the benefits people gain from building houses. Look, we need more houses. We have a problem in the sense that the government has done help to buy. It has raised the demand for housing. It has given people extra money. Now, when you raise the demand without increasing the supply, guess what happens to the price? Yes, right in one. We now need a concerted policy of help to supply. Concentrate on making measures easy to build more houses. And that means stopping what government has been doing.